Since the beginning of this video series about the development of quantum mechanics, one request that I have received many times is a few books on quantum mechanics that I would recommend. This is my list. In case you're considering getting any of these books, my personal recommendation is to check your public library. They might have some of them and you can save some money. If you cannot find the book there and you are considering spending some money, I encourage you to support your local bookstore. If your only option is buying the book online, you can support the channel by using the affiliated links in the description below. There is a spectrum of books that one could recommend. On one end, we find textbooks, books whose content is designed for a systematic study of the topic and commonly used in university level quantum mechanics courses. These are great, but not very friendly if you do not have formal physics training. On the other extreme, we encounter popular science books whose content is intended for science enthusiasts searching for fun facts and interesting stories without diving into the mathematics. Right in between is the balance between stories, historical context, and calculations. This is where most of the content of this channel lives, not as structured as a lecture, but also not as basic as popular science. I have prepared a list of all three types. For those searching for a good textbook, the standard for an undergraduate course is Introduction to Quantum Mechanics by David Griffiths. This book gets extra point for having a cat on the cover. The content is nicely presented, although there is no historical context nor a presentation of old quantum physics. The first page on chapter one goes straight to the Schrodinger equation and how to solve it for simple systems. Another nice textbook that I used during my first undergraduate course on quantum mechanics is the book Quantum Physics by Stephen Gasiorowicz. It has a style similar to Griffith's, but it feels way more paced. Chapter 1 includes some relevant, although quite superficial, review of old quantum physics. I like this book because it fills several gaps in the calculations. For a transition book between undergraduate and graduate level students, a standard option is Principles of Quantum Mechanics by Ramamurti Shankar. It levels the mathematical field with a chapter reviewing the most important math needed in quantum mechanics, as well as a review of classical mechanics before diving into quantum calculations, which only appear after page 100. The classic graduate-level textbook, at least in the US, is Modern Quantum Mechanics by J.J. Sakurai. This is what I used in grad school. I find this one a bit too dry, but it is a great textbook if you're a physics student. Even when I was working on my dissertation, I kept going back to this book to check things. But what if you're not a physics student, but an enthusiast searching for a good popular physics book for you or as a gift to a nerd friend? In Search of Schrodinger's Cat by John Gribbin is a classic and fantastic overview of the main ideas of quantum physics, including an introduction of many of the scientists who developed it. One of my favorite educators of quantum mechanics is Sean Carroll, and I really enjoyed his book Something Deeply Hidden, in which Carroll presents his favorite way of understanding quantum physics, the so-called many worlds interpretation, in a way that is clear, scientifically sound, and without the nonsense found elsewhere. The first third of the book is only dedicated to the development of quantum mechanics and to clarify many of the misunderstandings that people likely have about quantum physics. Even if you have studied quantum mechanics in university, you will find this presentation very illuminating. Carroll also has a fantastic podcast that I highly recommend. Sean Carroll also has an amazing series called The Biggest Ideas in the Universe, and part two is dedicated to quanta and fields. This book provides an overview of quantum physics and then moves to an even more advanced topic, quantum field theory. This is probably a book that every physics student should read before graduate school. Carroll provides some historical context, but mostly excellent ways of understanding advanced topics. But even if you're not going to grad school, but you have felt puzzled about topics like field quantization, field excitations, and the quantum fields associated with each particle, 
this is the book for you. Finally, in this level, there is a book that I read after an interview of its author by Sean Carroll in his podcast, What is Real? The Unfinished Quest for the Meaning of Quantum Physics by Adam Becker is a remarkable presentation of the early stages of quantum mechanics when physicists were still trying to make sense of it. Becker shows how in the 1920s, most of the physics community moved from questioning the underlying physics behind electrons and photons to the standard shut up and calculate approach that every physicist is taught in university. Becker includes stories of a few insurgents that try to dig deeper into the fundamentals of quantum mechanics, leading to the discovery of quantum entanglement and the groundbreaking work by John Bell. As the title suggests, this is a book that shows that when it comes to quantum physics, we are not done. I finally move to my favorite category, books that are not textbooks, but that do not shy away from the math behind the physics. I start with a book that I recommend to everybody, and I wish I had read when I was a student. Quantum Mechanics, The Theoretical Minimum by Leonard Susskind. These are the lecture notes from an evening course that Susskind gives at Stanford for his community. It contains a lot of math, but explained in one of the best possible ways. Lenny Susskind is one of my favorite educators, together with Sean Carroll, and this book is a great extension of his course, which is fully available on YouTube. This is part of a series, and they're all remarkable. One of the things that I really like about Sean Carroll and Lenny Susskind is that they explain what is known, but also what is not known about quantum mechanics. The next book is commonly called A Biography of Einstein. However, Subtle is the Lord, The Science and Life of Albert Einstein by Abraham Pace is way more than that. I would call it a biography of Einstein's work because it presents with fantastic detail the different fields developed by Einstein and their context, including plenty of relevant equations and a very complete list of references. It is important to note that Pace was not just another biographer, As a physicist at the Institute for Advanced Studies in Princeton, he was a colleague and close friend to Einstein, so most of the content comes directly from the source. The book includes a complete presentation of Einstein's works on relativity and quantum physics. You have noticed that many of the main papers on quantum mechanics were published in German, which can make them less accessible. For this, there is a combo of two books that come to rescue. Collected Papers on Wave Mechanics is the English translation of all the papers written by Erwin Schrödinger on the development of his famous equation. The other book is Sources of Quantum Mechanics by B. L. van der Verden. This is a collection of some of the key papers on quantum mechanics translated into English starting with Einstein's work on radiation in 1916, all the way to 1926, including papers by Bohr, Born, Heisenberg, Pauli, and Dirac. This book also includes an introduction and context to each paper. Only Schrodinger's papers are missing in this book, so these two complement each other. The last book on my list takes a special place. In Quantum Theory at the Crossroads, Reconsidering the 1927 Solvay Conference, Guido Bacciagalupi and Anthony Valentini deconstruct the famous Fifth Solvay Conference. They include three main essays about the work presented at the conference by Louis de Broglie, Max Born and Werner Heisenberg, and Erwin Schrödinger. These essays include advanced equations and plenty of great explanations. But the core of the book is the English translation of the full conference proceedings, including the transcript of all the presentations and the follow-up discussions that took place. If you ever wanted to read the back and forths between Einstein and Bohr, in addition to all the extra commentary by the other giants of quantum physics in the room, you will find it here. This is a remarkable book. These are my picks. I hope you enjoyed the selection. And let me know in the comments if you have read any of these books or if you have other recommendations to share. As a bonus, I highly recommend Infinite Powers, the story of calculus 
The Language of the Universe by Steve Strogatz to everyone. I wish I had read this book before I learned calculus because it provides a level of intuition that would have been very useful. If you don't know any calculus, you are in for a treat. And if you do know calculus, I can guarantee that you will enjoy it too because Strogatz shares great stories in a charming way that led Nassim Taleb to write, Warning, this book is dangerous. It will make you love mathematics. And I cannot agree more. 